Okay, everybody, so uh, we've gotten a lot of questions on how to enable Wi-Fi tethering on the Jelly Bean version of the Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. As you know, the Jelly Bean broke the Wi-Fi tethering uh, that most apps use, and so we have to use a custom ROM in order to enable it. Word of caution, this ROM is only for the Sprint version of the Galaxy S3. If you use it on any other variant, you'll brick your phone. So we have a Galaxy S3 here. It already has a uh, custom Jelly Bean ROM on it. Uh, obviously, Wi-Fi tethering doesn't work. So we're going to put a ROM on it that uh, does allow the Wi-Fi tethering. This same method can be used to uh, put the custom ROM onto your stock Sprint S3. Same exact method. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to go to our computer. Desktop, you'll see that I have the root and ROM Sprint S3 folder here. You can download it following the link in the description of this video. So I'll double click that and you'll see that we have the uh, recovery and we have a custom ROM. This custom ROM needs to go onto either the internal SD card or an external SD card for your phone. So we're going to put it on an external SD card. So what we'll do is if we go back to the phone and plug it in. So now we've plugged the phone in. And let's see if it connects up to our computer. You can do that by clicking on My Computer. And you'll see that the phone is listed here. So you can double click that and you have internal storage and you have SD card. So here I'm going to click on this SD card and you'll see that I already have this custom ROM available to me on my SD card. Same ROM. So there it is. If it wasn't here I would simply just drag it drag it in. Alternatively you can go to the internal storage on your SD card and you can pull that ROM over there as well. Either way you want to do it, it doesn't make any difference. We just want to get that ROM either on the internal SD card or the external SD card. Once that's done, we can go over here to the, I'm sorry, I did that very quickly. We can do the, come over here to the touch recovery. We can double click that. And we want to run Odin. So we're going to double click on Odin. And that's going to open up. So now what we want to do is we want to put our phone into download mode. So the easiest way to do that is to go back over to our phone and now what we want to do is we want to pull the battery out of our phone and then we'll put the battery back in. Now we want to hold volume down we want to hold the home button and the power button and just continue to hold all three of those. You'll see the phone will boot into this screen with a lot of text on it now we want to click the volume up, and as soon as we do, we'll be in downloading mode. Once we're in downloading mode, simply plug the phone back in. And the drivers will load, and you'll see it listed here in Odin as a COM number. Don't be concerned if your COM number doesn't match mine. That's inconsequential. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure under the options here, Reset time is not checked. Auto reboot's not checked. So there's nothing checked here. Then we want to go over to the PDA section of Odin. Click on that. It should open you up to this tar file right here. Remember we're in the. Uh, but if it doesn't, you go. You go. You you can navigate to that file. So here we'll go to desktop, and we'll go to root and ROM Sprint S3. That was our folder. We'll go into this touch recovery folder, and there's our file. So we want to make sure that that's the file that we run. Sometimes it will open to a different file so don't just automatically click it. Make sure you're actually running the correct file. We don't want to brick the phone. So once that's done, again check the options. Make sure nothing's checked. Go ahead and hit start. It's going to communicate with the phone. It's going to run that custom recovery. Just takes a moment. It's going to say pass. That means we're done. We can go ahead and click out of that. We can click out of this. Now let's go back to our phone. We can unplug it now. You'll see we're still in downloading mode. What we want to do is boot into the custom recovery that we just wrote. So for that, we're going to go ahead and pull the battery out of the phone again. 
Then put the battery back in. Now we're going to hold volume up. Remember last time we did volume down. This time we're going to do volume up, the home button, and the power button all at the same time. Now the trick is as soon as you see the Samsung logo pop up, you're going to let go of the power button. But you're going to continue to hold the volume up and the home button. And then it just takes a minute and it'll boot us into the custom recovery. So there we are. We're in the custom recovery now. So now in the custom recovery, we want to click Wipe Factory Reset and then we'll click delete and that will factory reset the phone now we want to go to wipe cache partition go ahead and accept that and now we'll go to install zip from SD card then we want to click on choose zip from external SD card because remember I'm using the one on my external SD card there's also an option choose zip from SD card that's if you put it on your internal SD card so click whichever one applies to you and then scroll down through the list till you find that ROM so here's mine right here I'm gonna click it I'm gonna click install custom ROM so now you're gonna load into the to the um, ROM loader. You may not be able to see this on the video because it's such a white screen. But basically on the first menu it's already highlighted as generic. I'm just going to leave that the way it is and click next and keep, keep clicking next throughout this. Then you're going to get to um, the installation method. Click on custom installation. I leave it at stock. It's already selected there so I click next and I leave everything the way it is and just continue to click next until it asks me what apps I want to install you can click whichever ones you want I obviously want Google Maps um, not really much else and I click install then install now and now it's going to install the ROM and this is uh, this custom ROM was created by the Sonic team so shout out to them this is a great ROM we're gonna go ahead and let that load so once it's done installing, just click, it'll say reboot, just go ahead and click next, and let that reboot all the way back up. Now, it's going to load up, and you're going to see the Sonic Team logo. But then after that, it can, the screen's just black for a long time, and your phone will, may or may not reboot, just depends. But it will eventually load into um, the setup menu. Just leave it alone, and it'll load. Always does. So we'll let it go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now it's booted up. We're at the welcome screen. Just go ahead and click start. And I just skip and next through all of this. Alright, so now we're at the home screen, and you can change the uh, background, uh, set wallpaper, home and lock screens, and so now it looks like the jelly bean we're all familiar with. And the nice thing about this ROM is you can go ahead and flash right over the top of it, uh, but if you go to apps, and you search through the applications you won't find anything for Wi-Fi tethering and you may say well I thought Wi-Fi tethering came with this ROM well it does and they have a very nice interface on this again this is the Sonic Team free free get S3 ROM if we go to settings and you scroll down you'll see that it has its own settings Can, uh, let me go back there this is the uh, free GS3 control panel. You'll see Wi-Fi tethering. Just click on that and you're good to go. So that's it. That's how you uh, root and ROM your G Galaxy S3 so you can use Wi-Fi tethering. Again, we started off with a phone that had a custom ROM on it, but this same method works if you're completely stock and not rooted. So this will go ahead and root your phone and install the custom ROM on it. 
So as always, another video from flashphones.net. If you have any questions, call us, send us an ICQ or an email. You can go to our website, flashphones.net, for our contact information. And as always, keep on flashing.